Their harness racing card. They are on sale in the area of the grandstand where the paramutual betting windows are located. Post time tomorrow, 12 noon. Let's meet the starters for today's eighth of our 12 races. Number one, Ruffy and Ritz, owned by Catherine and Richard Ritzel of St. Jacob, trained and driven by Dirk Simpson. Number two, Early Charge, owned by Dr. Robert Lacey of Nokomis, trained and driven by Ray Parker. Number three, Rock and Star, owned by Kenneth Buck of Denison, Iowa, trained and driven by Rick Schrock. Number four, Fox Valley Gatsby, owned by Lily Racing Stable, Incorporated of Downers Grove, Jerry Graham and Chris Daniels of Salem, J.D. Graham of Fairview Heights, trained by Wade Barbary, Jim Curran is up. Number five, T.K. Blackspur, owned by Randy Joe Finn of Newton. He trains and Fred Finn Jr. drives. Number six, Abra, owned by Phil Rietfeld of Crete, by Robert Rietfeld of Bourbonnet, trained and driven by Homer Hochstetler. Number seven, Scott T. Yankee, owned by Joshua Banks of Cannon Falls, Minnesota, trained and driven by Craig Banks. And number eight will be Kansas Tornado, owned by Jerry and Helen Logan of Coffeyville, Kansas, trained and driven by Jerry Logan. Post time in just six minutes. They're off and trotting. Scott T. Yankee goes out for the lead. T.K. Blacksburg gets away second. Early charge is off stride. Scott T. Yankee gets the advantage heading to the first turn. T.K. Blacksburg is second. Rock and Star goes third. Ruffy and Ritz is fourth. Then Fox Valley Gatsby, followed by Kansas Tornado, who angles out in the center of the track to clear some traffic around the first turn. Abra behind him, and early charge is still off stride, trailing the field. Scott T. Yankee is on top by a length and a half. T.K. Blacksburg is racing in second a length and a half. Rock and Star goes third. 30 seconds was the time for the opening quarter. Gap of three more lengths to Kansas Tornado. Ruffy and Ritz, Abra. There goes Fox Valley Gatsby. He got the shuffle. 14 lengths off the lead. And now Curran steers him toward the outside to try to make up some ground before the half. It's a long way back to early charge who's last. Scott T. Yankee, who's been a terror on the county fair circuit this summer, leads it by a length and a half. They're halfway home. T.K. Blackspur is trying to rate in second for Fred Finn Jr. Off the half in a minute. Rock and Star gets a good trip in third. A margin of five more lengths to Fox Valley Gatsby in fourth. Abra goes fifth. Kansas Tornado is sixth. Ruffy and Ritz is seventh. Early Charge is eighth. And they're moving into the final turn with Scott T. Yankee to catch. He leads it by a length and a half. T.K. Blackspur is second. Rock and Star third. Fox Valley Gatsby continues to pick up the leaders. Five lengths away. Four lengths away. Gatsby is beginning to roll. And here comes T.K. Blackspur off the rail. Rock and Star has a shot. Gatsby is going to go four wide. Off three quarters. 128 and four. Scott T. Yankee leads it. Here comes T.K. Blackspur. Fox Valley Gatsby is there on the far outside. Turning for home. Rock and Star is fourth. And he's rough gated turning for home. Now he angles to the center of the track. T.K. Blackspur to the lead. He's got the lead by two. But but Fox Valley Gatsby is coming. T.K. Blackspur, Fox Valley Gatsby, a final try. T.K. Blackspur, Fox Valley Gatsby, it'll be close. T.K. Blackspur by a nose. Fox Valley Gatsby second, Abra third. Scott T. Yankee was fourth. The time, two minutes and one-fifth. Result of the photo shows number five, T.K. Black Spur, to be the official winner. Randy Joe Finn, the trainer and the owner, waving his left hand in acknowledgement as the numbers come up with the 5-4 exact. Congratulations, Randy Joe, $41.80. T.K. Black Spur, driven by Fred Finn, Jr., bred by Tom Shen of Newton and Kurt Becker of Altamont. We can get a word with uh, Randy Joe Finn real quickly. This Cheyenne Spur gelding is owned and trained by Randy Joe. Randy, are we going to be able to grab a word if we walk alongside you? Well, let's talk to Fred Finn, Jr. Fred, they said this colt wouldn't rate. How was he today? Well, he was a lot better. He sat in the hole a lot better than I thought he did. And uh, 
when, he had, when that horse pulled on me, I thought I didn't want to get trapped in, so I thought I'd better get out with him. Fred, you did a good job. Randy, Joe, you've done a good job. Congratulations. Thank you, Kurt. That's Fred Finn, Jr., the winning driver.